And we're already in. Alright, folks, this is actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. Did. Uh, as always, welcome back. I am D, and this is Randota, the show where the meta doesn't matter. This is another random game, live cast. We'll go ahead and take a we'll take a look in just a moment. But first off, got a bit of a bit of a scrap here. Ooh, this is not looking good. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. And there's first blood already to Lena. All right, we'll start off with the dire side. On their top lane, we have R playing a Morphling. Pretty, pretty hefty carry. Hard to, and he's already morphing into agility quite a, quite a ways. Being supported by Lelush playing the Winter Wyvern. Their mid laner, we have Lena played by Brackets. Who's already got the first kill of the game? Denied. Then their bottom lane, Zwei, Zwei three hamburgers on the Ricky, and Link with three extra Ks playing the Slardar. And they're already going down hard on this Huskar, who is played by at Sauli. TNS. Oh, and Huskar gets killed. Can they actually get? Can they get the kill on Link? The return, can they get the return kill? No, they cannot so far. But TNS Feet is trying his best, going onto the Slardar. He's aiming for it. He knows Ricky's got to be blocking him. And he dusts. Chucks the dust and starts chucking glaives at Ricky. But he doesn't do enough damage just yet. Control S on the Omni Knight. Ooh, I like that set. What is that? The Grey Gallant. I like it. I'm so excited playing the Alchemist in the mid against Brackets. Which leaves solo top lane. We have... A Cyrillic name, playing the Magnus. I am not going to try and pronounce that because I don't speak Russian. Or Cyrillic, actually. Free Hamburgers is going up. And if you're wondering, uh, Zwei Free Hamburgers literally translates to two free hamburgers. We're going to call you Soli because it sounds cooler. That's the Huskar player. Brackets gets a bottled invisibility. Ooh, that's that's always good for for Alchemist if he's got at least one point in Grievel's greed. He really wants to get the bounty runes because that means he gets five times the normal amount. He can Alchemist makes up money makes money so quickly in this game. Wow, this Morphling player, 15 and 13 last hit denies at two and a half minutes. That's that's really good. Oh, now we have a triline going down here. Soli feet and control S versus two free hamburgers and Link. That leaves Magnus playing solo in the top lane. Brackets is just at this point. I'm surprised Lena still has clothing. Because she's been basically taking nothing but acid baths for the last two minutes. Actually, last minute. Control S is moving, rotating around. Feet is just wandering around. He's got. He's level two. He didn't put a point in stats. So what's his second point? Go? Oh, there he goes. Second point goes into Curse of the Silent, which is a good one because, especially against Ricky. Any kind of silence on Ricky breaks this. Breaks his permanent invisibility. Control S and Link are gonna find each other. Control S doesn't want anything to do with this. Man, this Morphling player is just going to town. Ske uh, Magnus skewers out to get away from the Arctic Burn, but Lelush actually goes after him a little bit. Did quite a bit of damage, but no real harm of a kill there. Feed against Link. Oh, Brackets is actually really badly hurt, but she's got a double damage. Mad dudes, middle tower. Everyone, go, he really is excited, isn't he? I'm so excited. And he just he's just so excited and he just can't hide it. I'll be interested to see how this game turns out. If you missed the game last week, it was really short and it was just kind of a route. It was just, it was over and done in under 26, just under 26 minutes. Uh oh, 
Omni's in some serious trouble here. Link gets the slam. And Ricky gets the kill. Sl Silencer's gotta run for his life here, because he's... Oh, no, he's not gonna make it. Ricky gets the double kill. Two free hamburgers for... After two free kills. So I'm guessing it's a kill per ha one kill per hamburger. Huh. That's a pretty good exchange rate. Bottle crowing with Belina. Gotta remember though, folks, when you bottle crow, courier moves 30% slower. If it's got less than full charges, which is any time you're actually gonna be doing that. The Lush is just kinda hanging out behind the tier between the tier one and two in mid. Oh, she's actually dropped a... She's actually dropped a ward. Lelush has dropped a... Inscribed Celestial Observatory. To stop this, because this is actually... Because... This... In case I can't draw there. Gaia's middle tower is under attack. This one here? That's a triple stack. Oh, there's actually several observers, so I might want to stop drawing lines on the map. Radiant's top tower is under attack. R is really pushing hard up here. And he's actually got, he's way ahead, he's well he's not way ahead, because Huskar's caught up quite a bit, soul eye. Bad dudes, middle tower, everyone, go, now! I'm not gonna even trust. Oh, that's a horrible pun. Oh, Lelush and Link, they're waiting around. Hopefully, they hope the Alchemist is gonna move for the bottom rune. That's why Brackets hasn't gone for it yet. Oh, never mind. They're just going in on him. I'd say hold. Yeah, I was gonna say hold the stun until he throw. Until he, oh wow! And a, even a Laguna committed to that. Touch my treasure now. Winter actually gets Winter Wyvern actually gets the kill. So it's still it's up to five nothing for the Radiant or against the Radiant. I'm sorry. And Bracket still gets the bounty rune. Light Strike Array. Ooh, Feet is in some serious trouble and he's dead. Life Break onto Brackets from Soli and. Oh, but Hamburgers is coming in. Stun flies out from the from Excited. Soli's still not gonna make it. Excited is just. He's trying to find a target, but he doesn't really have any idea what he's doing. Slithering Crush from Link. Smoke screen from Ricky. Hamburgers is it doesn't matter that he's that he's silenced up here. He's still in chemical rage form. They're not gonna get Oh, they are gonna get the stun off! Can they get the kill? No, they cannot. He's too far gone. Hamburgers is standing behind enemy lines now. If he gets too much closer. Oh, we know he's gotta know that the, he's gotta know that ward's there. Control S is moving hard on Lelush. Not gonna happen. If he's not in, but you just gotta know how to counter him. They're trying with these. They're trying with these wards, but you need wards and silences. Oh, there's some German going on here. Because what Hamburgers just said was literally. Yes, my brother Ricky is it is imbalanced. Imba is not German. It's just it's it's Dota slang. Actually, it's it's gamer slang. Although to be fair, if you're watching this, you probably already know that. Uh oh, Soul Eyes in some serious trouble here. Is he gonna be able to turn? Yeah, he turns and life breaks onto Link. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. But he's not gonna get one onto Ricky. At least he got a counter kill, so he does make it one for one. Silencer takes on the Winter Wyvern and wins. So Feet finally gets on the board with a kill in a way that get and he gets some stolen intelligence. Silencer steals yeah, Silencer permanently steals two intelligence from any hero that he personally kills or that dies within 925 range. And for the record folks, 925 is most of the screen. So if if pretty much if they're on screen, and di and silent if they're on screen with silencer and they die, he's gonna take their intelligence from them if they're on if they're not friendly. 
Ricky is gonna make it out of here, maybe. Oh no, he is not! The stun from the Alchemist. And Ricky gets chopped down. Silencer gets that kill. So he actually not only gets the intelligence, but he also gets the mega kill streak gold. That is some. That is a bad luck for Rick. That was some bad luck for Hamburger. Not he's not even could take on brackets, but let's be honest here. Oh, life break from the from the Huskar. Oh, he was just out of range of that. Huh. Weird, I would have thought that was within 925. Oh well. They finally managed to get an answer for the Lena. Hopefully for them it's hopefully our radiant side that's not too little too late. The biggest issue they're having right now is they have no answer whatsoever for this Morphling. He's just been left on his own. He's got one kill, but he's got 78 last hits. This is a serious carry player here on R. Cause I mean, he's doing... He's just doing what he needs to do. He's just working up. He's got 1200 gold, and he's already got a son. He's already got Yasha. Ooh. Hamburgers has found Omni Knight and Huskar. Can he actually do anything here? Can, is he going to try and go for Soul Eyes or Control S? Or is he just going to do the smart thing and trying to escape with his life? Ooh. Excited takes down Brackets. The Lush can't stop or Couldn't stop it, so. Not quite level 6, so Winter's Curse is still not on the board. Although Winter's Curse doesn't do any damage. Oops, Splinter Blast. Link just sprints in from the side out of nowhere. Magnus is doing okay, but his last hits are nowhere near. Although, to be fair, a lot of that comes down to the fact that R has got a lot of denies. I mean, 41 denies? I've seen pros with less at this point. Although, to be fair, R could actually be a smurf. If you're not if you're not familiar with that term, a smurf is a is somebody that play, plays at a high level. Who creates a second account just so they can go down and have usually pub stomps? Arctic Burn, Life Break to counter it. Soli is getting hurt. Laguna Blade doesn't kill him, of course, but. Oh. Bracket and Lelouch go down to the Huskar. Soli gets the kills. Ricky manages to just escape after being dusted. He did get dusted, right? Yes, he did. They're not gonna find him. He already made it out. Although, to be fair, he warped, way, he warped back behind his tier 1, so. He's not out of the woods just yet. He reveals Ricky reveals himself. Oh, it'll be feathers. Actually, no, they they could get him. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Life break in. Winter's curse onto Soli. He's not gonna make it out of this. Slithering crush, but Link still dies to the Omni Knight. Meanwhile, R takes down Silencer. Where was th he's finally R is finally joining the fight. Oh, he takes a huge hit from the Alchemist. Oh, the stun comes in just at the end of Repel. Waveform from R gets the killing spree. Suddenly, Morphling is once Morphling decided to join the fights, this started. To Really south for our radiant side. Now it was a one for three. Bracket coming in. Oh, but there's two enemies. There's two here. Life break, and he's got repel, so he's spell immune. But bracket is just dead. Amp damage on from Link onto Magnus, and feet comes in. Oh, skewer! But is he gonna get it? No. Feet's gonna try and stop him. Oh, if he had a point in Glaives of Wisdom, he could actually do this. R comes in and just gets. Oh, but. So in the end, that ends up being a two for two for nil on top lane. All because R R and Lalush ro rotated in to help out Link. 
who actually ended up getting the kill on Magnus. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Is that the first hour of the game? Yes, it is. That's the first hour. Is under attack. Alrighty, this is going slightly different than the last game. Waveform's out. Shockwave comes out from the Magnus, but doesn't hit anything but creep. Hamburger's coming in. Oh! Feet actually drops it and s drops the sen the sentry ward and sees him, but oh, this is not gonna go well. Feet gets killed. Excited's got a stun charge, but doesn't manage to throw it in time. Brackets, on the other hand, is gonna get killed by Soli behind the lines. Hamburger's gonna take out Excited. <coughs> Excited pop chemical rage there. <coughs> Excuse me. He pop chemical rage there to try and get some regen, so Ricky wouldn't just kill him instantly. Oh, they know Ricky's here, but. If he runs up too much farther, he'll get caught by that sentry ward. Where's the range? He's in! They can see him. They've... They know you're there, Hamburger. Oh, he uses Blink Strike to get onto feet. And then blinks out again. Hamburger's actually gonna survive that. The question now is, will Link survive this? Because Soli knows, he, knows where he is. Oh, he sprints out. He's gonna make it. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower hey, is under forget attack. about it. Invisibility. Invisible silencer. Life break onto R. Soli is trying to get him, but... Our, our, let's... Uh, there it is, net worth. Yeah, I kind of figured Morphling would be our net worth leader. Okay, Excited, Control S, and Soli have moved in on Roche, but they've already been spotted. Magnus comes in as well, drops the Empower onto the onto the Alchemist. Life Break over the cliff onto Link from Soli. Oh, Winter's Curse comes out. Control S is beaten on... I'm excited, but... In the end, Lelouch gets taken down by Feet, who is in some serious trouble here. Ooh, he eats the Disfusal Blade, so... Oh, but a Life Break comes back on. Arg takes, the, takes his first death. They're moving back into the Roche Pit, and this time they're probably gonna... Actually, no, they, I'm not sure, because Hamburger is here. I mean, he's not. A, he's probably not enough to turn this on his own, unless he gets a really good kill. Link comes in, Slithering Crush, and Soli gets taken down. Ricky's gotta run for it. Once his invis kicks in, he's okay. Meanwhile, this Wild Wing Ripper is just doing... is just fighting the greatest monster on the map. Hamburger comes in. Something bad is happening. And Excited basically stunned himself. Arctic Burn onto Excited. And we can't hear anything because the Silencer dropped the Global Silence. Ricky's actually completely visible now. Oh, Global Silence is over. Ricky's back to being invis. And he's gonna teleport out. Excited seems to seems to hit himself a lot with those. Not saying it's his fault. I mean, he's facing off against a stealth hero and a lot of mobility, so... Especially R right there. The Morphling... His mobility is nuts. Oh, the stun flight. That was a long range throw. We need to get the cold embraced. Because, mostly because of the tornado, but nothing else. Nothing gonna happen there. They're. They're. The Radiant side really want this Roche. Yeah, they need to time that a little better if they're gonna do that combo. Slithering Crush. Oh, but Link gets gets hit with a life break. Excited gets nailed with the Winter's Curse and goes down. Oh, reverse polarity. Shockwave. Hamburgers is gonna burn down. Three for three for one. With an instant buyback from the Alchemist. And the Radiant finally move in to try and finish off the Roshan they started like three minutes ago. Four, wait, what the? Oh wow! Where did Slardar die? Oh wow! I did not even notice that. And yet Roshan is still alive with about th a third of his health. 
Alright, this time we got a four man into Roche. It ends up being a one for four in favor of the Radiant. Roshan's gonna go down here. First Roche of the game. Immortal Alchemist. That's not fun to think about. Especially since his ult has such a low cooldown. I mean, 45 seconds? Ricky's just going back to farming real quick. He kinda needs it. He's probably he's gotta be building a defusal. I mean you don't get two blades of alacrity for anything else. Okay, he's got a replicate somewhere. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Fake Lena. It's not doing anything at the moment, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, it draws the fu it draws a stun from the alchemist, and just instantly R takes its place. Good play by the Morphling. All right, each side's lost one tower. Well, at least one tower actually. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Deny the Dyer deny their mid tower. Thank you, brackets. Meanwhile, Radiant Bottom, about halfway, Radiant Mid, about dead. Bracket takes the stun, full stun from the, from the Alchemist. Trollaz drops his, oh, he hits Repel on himself and then gets killed by Morphling's waveform after it runs out. Alchemist blinks forward and just kills Bracket without even trying. Nails her in the face with a stun and then chops her in the head. Silence coming out from Feet, who is behind enemy lines and trying his best, but... Oh, two for two so far. You're not going to be able to avoid them seeing you, Excited. Ooh, actually, Huskar manages to take down the tier 2 on the bottom while all this is happening. Life breaks onto R in the mid lane. Amp damage coming in, and Waveform comes out, and Huskar gets killed. Yeah, Huskar, you're strong, but you're not invincible. Excited is invisible and getting pounded on. Throws out a stun onto Hamburgers, who's actually perfectly fine. Fake Huskar. Ooh, pops the Aegis. This is not good. No oh. Slithering Crush on Defeat, who is, gets Winter's Cursed, but nobody's around to pound on him, except for the enemy. Winter Wyvern actually gets the kill on Feet. Skewer on Link. He's actually in the Cold Embrace. Oh, but the Purify actually still does a lot of damage. Magnus comes down. Oh, Reverse Polarity on three. He gets a three-man RP. He's trying to avoid Link, but... Mostly because of the amp damage. Lena gets killed in the back lines. Magnus gets taken out as well. All that's left is Excited versus... Ex Excited and Control S. Excited goes down. Control S is left alone against three members of the Dire. He's running for his life, but the Diffusal Blade's gonna get him. Ricky gets the kill. Soli is the sole survivor of that fight. Whereas Feet is now back. Now respawned. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Whew. Like I said, Ricky's not actually OP if you know how to counter him. If you know how to counter him, Ricky is pathetic. Bounty Hunter is a great counter to Ricky, mostly because of track. You get one track on Ricky and it's like, oh hi, you're, I can see you everywhere. And you're worth more money. We got Morphling and Ricky. Along with Winter Wyvern and Slardar. Ooh, even Lena. The Dire are all here. Huskar denies the tower. Huh, sounds like Lena might be going for an Ag Scepter. Which is always a good good call on her, because, I mean, this thing, Laguna Blade doing even more damage and cutting through magic resist. Always wonderful. As long as you're the Lena. In your bottom. So 
to the bottom lane. Alright, excited. Doesn't have any attack speed items just yet, but... Sees R coming and just blinks away. Ooh, Control S and Soul Eyes are coming in. Magnus gets Yules and Force Staffs himself. I think he Force Staffs himself. Yeah, he did. He... Two man RP. Mean is dead. Hamburger is burning, but he's not gonna he's not gonna die to this. He'll survive. Ultimate orb. He might be going for an eye of Scotty. Or oh wait, no, he's probably uh, he's probably going for Lincoln's, come to think of it. Lincoln's probably gonna be a Lincoln's or a Manta on the Morphling. If I had to guess. Uh, the red, the red goat courier versus the boar. That's a fake Ricky. Oh, it's actually a replicate Ricky. Unfortunately, it's still something invisible that you bumped into. Which is probably very, very nerve-wracking. So all eyes looking for something to do. So let's go after the tomato and the potato. I would say Ricky's in trouble here, but they don't have any det The Radiant currently don't have any detection. They could get a probably get a gem on the Magnus or the Alchemist. Probably Alchemist because he's the hard he's got their fastest farm. He's actually taking over the I just noticed no he's actually taking over net worth from the from the Morphling. Which makes a lot of sense. I mean Alchemist being leader of the net worth. Not hard when he's got Grievel's greed, especially a max Grievel's greed. Top so five man difficult? is that a no, that's a four man smoke. No, that is a five man. Ricky gets found and gutted. Magnus ends up getting the kill with that shockwave. Roche is not up just yet, guys. We'll find out how close he is to respawning real soon. Twenty two to twenty five at the twenty seven minute mark. This one's already been longer than the last one. I'm not complaining, I actually like long matches. Minute 20 on the Roche timer. Top towers under attack. Middle tower is under Just going attack. by towers so far, the Radiant are winning. Top thing is going by kills though, our Dire side's winning and this Morphling player is Bad doing news. great. Everyone, go. No. Purify dropped. Stun coming in onto the Alchemist. Control S comes in. Top tower has been denied. Huskar denies tower their top of tier one. Bracken comes in and Laguna's the control Laguna's the Omni Knight, but doesn't actually kill him. And he's not gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Adaptive Strike is gonna get the kill for R, who's about to get who gets jumped on by Soli, and literally in that case. Uses the replicant replicate to get out. Stun from the Alchemist. Two man RP, skewer combo, That's hamburger, ants. So Slardar and Ricky both go down. Lightstriker aim misses the Alchemist, who is currently just chasing Lena. Gets his stun, starts charging his stun up. Bracket takes the stun to the back. It's not a full charge. Oh, that was great. That was well timed. That ends up being a three for one exchange. The Omni Knight is the only one to die on the rating side, whereas they lose the Lena, the Ricky, and the Slardar for the Dire. Morphling is getting out of there, as is Winter Wyvern. Frankly, I think probably your best bet for a target for the Winter's Curse is probably going to be... I think yeah, it's going to be the Huskar. Attack. Yeah, it's definitely the Huskar. Wait, no, not the Huskar, the Silencer. What am I talking about? Rot -row. Bad news. Rot -row. Alchemist gets the kill on the tower. Green news. Something bad is happening. 
And they already know Rosh is back up because Silencer spotted him. Alchemist blinks in and just starts to chop away at the Roshan. Oh, he's okay. Alchemist has the Solar Crest. Magnus blinks onto the cliff, but realizes I don't want to be up here, and then just force staffs him down. Force staffs himself down. Meanwhile, Winter Wyvern's actually pushed hard enough that she took down the tower. Tier one on bottom is gone. Roshan is dead, and Huskar is now the carrier of the Aegis. I know I've been switching on how I say that, but it's just weird. An immortal your Huskar is a terrifying thought. In your bottom. Radiant structures are fortified. Solai coming in behind our feet. Okay. This Morphling player is really doing well with putting his replicates somewhere that he can use to get out safely. Unfortunately, that means he's kind of lost his edge in farming recently. Let's check the graphs. XP graph. 2,500 in favor of the Radiant. And gold graph, just over 5k. Yeah, just over 5k in favor of the Radiant. So the Radiant are actually in control of the game so far. Even though they're down by one kill and it's 31 minutes in. Okay, then alchemist. Oh, shadow amulet. Not a great time. To, okay, they're gonna. What? I don't know what's going on with this Magnus player right now. Shadow amulet, you have to stay still. It will keep you invisible forever, but you have to stay still. Uh, I just realized I forgot to do something. You know, I'll skip that for the day. This is the way he chops the creep, chops the creep. Empower onto the alchemist, that's horrifying to think about. Splinter Blast flies out, hits every creep along with several of the several of the creep several of the players. Alchemist takes down the tier three on the mid. Lena gets stunned. Huskar kills the Slardar in the meantime. Takes the lights, takes the light strikes. Slardar instantly buys back. Adaptive strike on the slope on the soul eye. R is just doing his best to try and stop us, but he's not gonna do well. Winter's Curse on this, on the wolf? They winter, he winter's Curse the wolf. Global Silence flies out, Slardar, Morphling, and Ricky all die within really quick per- As does Lena. And the middle back, middle, middle Interax is gone! And a team wipe, a 5 for nil team wipe. Alchemist is gonna chop down the tier 4 assault. Huskar is joining him in, joining him with him. He's got an he's got an active armlet. And they're just gonna throw it now. It's over. The Radiant win this one as well, folks. Well done. That was a very that was an intense fun game. I gotta admit I liked it. If you enjoyed the game, please feel free to like or favorite the video or leave a comment down below. Or use the dislike button if you want. That doesn't bother me either. Also, please feel free to check out my other two series, my other two current series, and hopefully the trailer for my for my my new series starting in April. I know it's a long ways off, or it sounds like it is, but hopefully my new series for that, hopefully the trailer for that's up already. If you want to make sure you never miss an episode, please feel free to follow me, or I mean, click the subscribe link down below, or the link at the end of the video. And if you have a game you'd like me to check out, send me the match ID. You can find it here on the score screen in the top left corner, just above the words "The Radiant." Send me that number, I'll check out the game and see if it see if it's something I'd like to cast. As for that folks, I have been D. Good night and good gaming.